Hey guys, Nintendo Capri Sound here, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64 in the last episode. What did I do? I believe I finished out Gloomy Galleon, and I just lack fighting the boss there, so... I guess that'll be the first order of business, and this is the first time I've recorded since I got back from Atlanta, so holy mackerel. I haven't done this in about two weeks. So, man, I must say, I'm very rusty. Well, you, you don't really get rusty on a game in two weeks, though, do you? I don't know. I don't think so. The only thing I get rusty on is, like, the knowledge of what I remember from last time I tried studying, you know, the next world. And I haven't really studied it since then, so I don't know how much I remember. But in the meantime, that's irrelevant, because we have to go... Wait, I guess the nearest boss door would be down here, wouldn't it? I'm guessing? No, 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 this isn't it. This is, it's at the lighthouse. And you're just hanging by a moment, pretty much. So how's everybody doing? It's so good to be back. Sorry I didn't have a video yesterday. It would have been a really good day to have a video, too, because it was Sunday. But, I don't know. Well, today still is Sunday, actually. I technically could put this up today. Like, tonight, but it's like 9 p.m. So I don't know. Probably all you kiddos are all in bed by now, right? Oh, isn't, isn't there one? There's also one, like, up here in the on-guard thing, isn't there? That little hole I made, I thought I would have no use for it. Well, guess what? We're gonna have a use for it now. And I must admit, this boss is actually really fun, too, so... We're gonna get on in here and do this thing. Oh, man. I must admit, I turned the TV on game mode for this, this time. And it looks weird, like, sometimes... It looks like it's showing two or three frames at once, like that one boss in Star Fox on the SNES. I think it's, like... That one annoying boss that you have to fight twice, or something. It was, it's like that. Like, it shows several frames at once. I was kind of doing that here. I don't know. Oh, I never make that barrel jump for some reason. So, Diddy, you want to help us out here by contributing? Wow, are we even going to have enough bananas to open this thing between three Kongs? I don't know. Wish I could remember from the last video, like, who had a hundred. But at this point, it wouldn't even matter. Oh, well, anyway. I keep wanting to do, like, an imitation of that thing that JonTron did on Game Grumps, where he's like, Oh, 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 oh you like that? Oh, here it <laughs> It's just, I don't know why. It's just so funny. Anyway, it turns out Lanky is the boss that you will be fighting. Or, not the boss, but the monkey. The chimp. With whom you'll be fighting this boss, so... We'll just go ahead and get this started here. And he did have enough bananas, if I recall right. So... Let's see, just enough, just enough, right? Yes, yeah, so happy! Oh, man. It's a nice night. We had karaoke last night at the Halloween party. Otherwise, I would've recorded last night. So it was kind of nice to, you know, get out and have some fun. I didn't wear a costume. And, like, they had, like, this this costume contest. And I don't know who the judges were, because my dad wasn't one of the judges, but he was, like, doing the show, so he had to do the announcements and everything. I felt bad, because there were some people that were, like, pissed off about who the final four were. He's like, okay, these are the final four, and we're going to pick from these. And some of them were good. There was a girl dressed as Beetlejuice, which I thought was hilarious. And another guy that was dressed as, like, Dick in a Box or something. He ended up winning, actually, of course. Like, gee, you didn't see that coming at all. But, uh... But there was, like, another guy that was dressed as, like, an Arab or something, and he was really funny. And another guy with this mask, he got, like, really pissed off. Like, people started getting pissed off, and they were like, This is bullshit! Fuck this! And they started running out of the... Anyway, about the boss. Oh, Z, Z, Z to go forward. You silly. Anyway, this boss, I know I just passed the thing. I'm gonna go around for a second try here. Oh, do I have a bubble in my throat? Ugh, I think I do. My sister used to get that sometimes, it's really funny. Uh, she like introduced me to the concept, actually. Hmm. Oh, here we go. So basically, this boss is like really simple. All you gotta do is fly through the targets and... And don't fly circles around them, but... No. 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 No, don't, don't hit me twice, please. Okay, seriously. You're not supposed to be taking hits this early in the fight. Because as you, as the fight progresses, the targets get smaller. And therefore harder to hit. 
you also got to watch out for these poles that come up. I mean, the poles end up helping you because they're what electrocute the fish and take off his life. But still. But you, you wouldn't believe how often you run into those stupid poles, despite how small they are. Oh, yeah, you got to watch out for this. In these second and third stages of the fight, he'll start making earthquakes. And it'll knock you back, so... You can tell when it's coming by the sound he makes, that kind of helps. I'm really not doing very good here. But usually when I pass one, I try to, like... I, oh, shoot. Yeah, he's not gonna... Oh, what? That hit me? Oh, my God. Now I'm facing the wall, and I have no idea what's going on. Ooh, he hit me again. Damn it. So I'm gonna turn this around here. Oh, my God. What are they doing now? I don't know why. He has... Okay, I'm in apartment 60, right? Well, apparently, every time they forget, every time some family of like six people comes in to move in, he puts them to 50. And I swear to God, there's. I mean, you can't help it because there's so many of them, but god damn. It's a one bedroom apartment, you can't have that many people living in there. I mean, it must be nice only paying $90 rent per person because there's so many. Jeez. You know, this is like the second time in a row. Because there was just like the other people moved out, like, just six months ago, and now there's another group of them in there, unless it's the same one, but I'm pretty sure it's not, because these ones have kids. So, whatever. Well, they can probably hear every freaking word I'm saying, too, so fuck that. And yeah, since they're one back in the park, that means that usually it's just one person, which means there's no reason for them to talk, because there's nobody to talk to, except for on the phone. So I never hear talking at all, except from over there. You have to be all pussyfoot talking quiet, you know, because I don't want Alright, hell, as far as that goes, I just might as well just go ahead and get myself kicked out, right? I've actually been getting in this mood lately where I want to... Okay, come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Shit, 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 shit! Oh, man, I barely missed it. I actually think this stage is a little bit easier because... Crap, except when he's doing that still. But the fireballs are easier to dodge when they're coming from the sky because they almost never hit you. So you kind of you kind of just have to really trust yourself more than anything because you can't do this with fairly with relative ease, I should say. And sometimes I just turn around and start flying the other way. I don't have any real preference as far as like which way I'm going. Okay, as long as he's doing that. The thing is, you don't want to hold still for very long because that's when they, when he's prone to hit you. Oh my jeez, look at there! He spawned right in front of me. How nice. Okay, I believe that's three. After this, he'll stop doing that earthquake thing now. Which I actually prefer. But at this point, he almost has to, because how in the world are you going to hit these tiny-ass targets now? This is only the fourth out of five here, so... But yeah, like yesterday, I made like six trips. Uh, it might have been five, but I think it... Uh, I don't know. But I just took all of this stuff out of my apartment that I didn't need anymore. I had all these old pots and pans that I never used anymore, sitting on top of my fridge. Got all those out. I... Let me see, what else did I take out? I took out, like, some old bathroom stuff that I didn't need, like... I don't know, I should take better care of my bathroom, because I had, like, old, like, shaving cream bottles and stuff, and just, uh, Stuff that really needed to be tossed out a long time ago, toilet paper rolls. Well, God, that was easy. Are we actually going to get this? Well, I don't know, because these last targets are really hard to hit. I and mean, look how small these are. And you only get ten seconds to find the next one, so... You kind of, like I said, you got to kind of trust yourself. Oh, I got it. Damn, how about that? I would say this is probably the easiest... Well, no, not the easy... Oh, shit, I hit the pole. See there? That happens, though. Come on, hit it! Oh, damn, I uh, hit it. I hit it, man. Alright, stop going in circles here. You gotta learn, like, just how long to let go. Oh, shit, those are homing fish, too, aren't they? Dang, man. Well, what is this? Well, I'm actually doing better than I thought. I did those third and fourth stages really well and kind of made up some life there. Like, as normally I wouldn't have this much life at this point. Shit. Okay, that's two. We need three more. Can we do this? Can we do this? <sighs> okay, that's two. Two, two, two more. Uh, I always tell myself to stop going, but okay, that's one more. Could we get this on the first try? Could we? 
Could we, could we, could we? Ah, oh, it's hit, it's hit, hit it, hit it. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, I hate trying to turn around. Oh, hit me with a fireball, why don't you? Oh, and then the homing... Shit, no. Aw, oh, damn, are you freaking kidding me? Good lord, man, it's all, the, all at once, the last three hits all at once like that. Do not give up. Ah, we're gonna have to start over there, that fish was getting on my ass. And on my nerves as well. I don't know if my ass and my nerves are in the same place. I mean, I know I do have nerves in my ass, but... I don't know if that necessarily means that getting on someone's nerves and getting on their ass... It's the same thing. Now, where the hell is this thing? I don't see it. Ah, it's over there. Now I'm gonna go back and watch the video and see myself pass it like three times and be like, oh shit. There we go again. I can't get over this comment I saw the other day where somebody said... It was about like eight, it was eight months ago, somebody said, my videos just get worse and worse. You know, and I shouldn't take things like that to heart, but damn. I wish I knew what it was I was doing so different. Like, you know, it's natural for people to get tired of stuff and move on, that's fine. But at least acknowledge that it's because you're getting tired of it and not because it's getting worse. I mean, hasn't anybody ever gotten tired of a food, you know, or a certain, or like a TV show or something? I mean, I don't know. Okay, alright, uh, we must make it one Oh! Jeez. Alright, take three on stage five of the big fish. I should have looked up this guy's name. I know I looked up... Mad Jack, and then I just kind of you know, hacked it with this one. Huh. Hacked it as in just so, uh, as in I am a hack. But uh, let's see, ten seconds and counting. All right, let's. Ooh, there it is. Okay, that's three. We may just have it. There could still be mail. Oh. Okay. All right. One more. One more. Pole, get out of my way. Got him, got him, got him, got him. I knew it, I knew it the moment I saw it. I knew I was right in line to turn right into that thing. Boom! Oh, and the barrel blast explosions right out of Donkey Kong Country just cover the entire screen. And... Well, <laughs> I guess his career got deflated a little bit. <coughs> no, okay, um... No, you're using A again to go forward. What's your problem, boy? You just got done with this boss battle. Well, my mind was thinking, okay, I'm out of the boss battle now, so the rules don't apply anymore, so I don't have to press Z anymore. That's what I was thinking. It's like when you get out of school and you stop studying because, well, hey, you're not in school anymore. Oh, gee, I'm underwater. I wasn't expecting to be underwater. Oh, guess what? I know what to do. Yeah, you guys don't have to tell me. <laughs> nice. Of course, that is one thing about recording this game that kind of causes me to fall behind so much. You know, we got a chunky thing right here, I should... Like, I don't know what's going on. I mean, there's a blue switch over here, which we can't actually hit those yet, so I might as well just come back here later and do everything at once. I mean, I know some people are saying that it kind of drives them crazy when I pass stuff like that, but to me, it's like, you know, why waste the time to do something in an area if you're just going to have to come back there later to do something else? I'd rather do all the stuff that's available to do in one given area at the same time. If that... I mean, I, I don't know. I know that doesn't make any sense. It's just I like to think of... That's just how I think of video games, like... I don't know. It's just how I do it. I wish I could think of an example, though. Yeah. We're running out of words and lip movements to make here. Yeah, but one of the things that gets me so behind on recording this game... Is just... You know, like, for example, just now, recording that boss fight, I got a 24-minute video here, and only 10 minutes of that you're ever gonna see. So it's like... Yeah. Yeah, so happy. He shakes for this one, though. I guess because now that we're two-thirds of the way there, and two-thirds is such a great fraction. Which it really is. Now, I'll admit I've seen some of the next world, and I've actually played some of it, too. But I haven't seen that much of it, so... And again, what I have seen has been, like, two weeks ago, so... <laughs> how much of this am I gonna remember? I remember something about... I remember something about... I remember thinking that, like, maybe I would do the chimps backwards in this world. Like, start with Chunky, and then, because I know two of Chunky's right off the bat. And then, you know, just go from there. And go start with Chunky, and then do Tiny's, and then Lanky's, and so on. Yeah, let's walk on our hands for a while. 
I'm still seeing that, like, two or three frames at once on the TV. But there is less lag, so it's a small price to pay. Truth be told. Let's see, I haven't really looked around back here much. There's a gopher. It's live and let live. Or should I say live and let die, since everybody dies, you know. Hey, what the heck? That's really where the three morph is? Why didn't I ever wonder about that before? Huh. So I guess the three warp is meant to be how you get to world five. That's kind of strange. But it's cool that they're not in order, because that's... Oh, you guys have been waiting long enough to see me do this. Rah! Yeah, dear God in heaven, how long have I been putting that off? Hey, Lanky, that's a special coin you picked up, and why did my voice get so stupid? It's five coins to each Kong. Well, guys, we're kind of getting close to the end of the episode here, so, uh, I'll just... Yeah, I guess I'll wander back here and see what we got. Oh, film, okay. Oh, no big deal. Ah, yeah, sorry we didn't really get much done here. All I really did was beat a boss and open the next world, but, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll explore all that goodness next time. I don't want to start making long-ass episodes here again, so... What does this place look like, anyway? Huh. Sweet. Alright, see you guys later.